Um, I, I re, while Christine McMillan, whose name well many of you know, and uh, she was the initial chair of the board of Oasis, and I had the honor of first becoming treasurer, and then when Christine moved to Toronto, I became the chair of the board, and I wish to pay homage to Tina as well. Uh, I think we've worked together quite closely for several years now, and I simply can reiterate what others have said in terms of Tina always giving very salient advice, in essence to tell me sometimes just mind my own business, and <laughs> which as anybody who's known me over the years knows is really difficult to do, and uh, that the members would understand and would know and would be able to see it through, and she's right. And, but I have a sneaking suspicion that she was also being helpful to members as well. And I'd like to acknowledge the fact that Tina's family is here. Um, we've, we've heard about you. We've seen lovely pictures of grandchildren who've come in during school break week, and um, had, the members have loved having you here. Uh, so it's always really important for family members to hear about how wonderful their mother or mother-in-law is and grandmother. So now you know, if you didn't know before. <laughs> <laughs> well, I expect you did. Helen, that cord is wrapping around your foot. Oh, you think I'm going to trip? <laughs> well, that would be something for people to talk about. <laughs> um, I also think um, that we should hear from the members themselves the member reps um, who I got to know really well were, were Norm and Pearl. And we now have, uh, the members have their own meeting, which I trust can start again in earnest. And uh, that's always been really important. Again, the board tries to help as much as we can, but not interfere because that's essential to the work of a good, healthy oasis. And 